Welcome to the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. I'm Mark Kuntz. Matt Finkel will be with us in a little bit as we're in Bath to talk with the Bath Wildcats. Joined now by Bath head coach Bill Garland in his third year as the head coach of the Wildcats. And Bill, how'd the summer go for Bath? Well, you know, now being my third year, we, you know, got a routine of how we want to run our, you know, 10 camp days that the state of Ohio gives us, how we want to run our uh, lifting, conditioning. So everything went real good. We had more kids involved in those things than we had the previous two years, so we're pretty excited about that. Did you find yourself tweaking any things from what you've done in the past with the, with the off-season workouts? Yeah, you know, uh, we had a two-year start at quarterback, so we've kind of tweaked some things. Uh, the kid we think is going to play quarterback this year, some of the things that fit his what he's capable of doing a little bit better. So, yeah, but we started tweaking the office back in January, the offense back in January. Coming off of a four and six campaign, started a rough start, had a really good middle section of the year, went, had, got the record back up to four and three before the schedule kind of caught up to you in the last couple of weeks, lost some tough games. What do you take away from last year's season? Well, you, you know, my first year here, we went four and six, but uh, in those six losses, we weren't competitive in most of those games. Uh, last year, we went four and six, but, you know, for example, LCC made the playoffs and we played them right to the wire. Uh, the Kenton game was one of the best games I think in my coaching career I coached in. And, you know, they went to state semifinals and we played them right down to the wire. And OG, even though they didn't make the playoffs, they had an eight and two record and we played them week 10 right down to the you know last minute of the game. So we were more competitive in those games, which is, a, you know, a sign of improvement and it's something you're looking for you know in your second year as head coach and as the program moves forward. You mentioned having to replace a two-year starter at quarterback. What other new personnel are you looking at this year? Well, uh, Caden Sullivan's taking most of the reps. Uh, you know, he's a junior. He's very athletic. You know, he's you know part of our baseball team mm -hmm. that made the first regional appearance in 35 years. You know, he, he's a guy that really wants to play quarterback and he's invested some time in that position and he's very coachable and you know, he's a, he's a very good athlete. He's just got to, you know, Learn some of those things uh, that quarterback needs to do on a daily basis to, uh, you know, become a great quarterback. What are some of the guys he's going to be looking to get the ball to, both in the, the backfield and in the receivers? Yeah, well, you know, Chase Clark returns back there. He's less than rushing the last two years. Uh, Trey Terry's getting some carries back there, and you know, Bo Gross will be back there at times, and he'll gain some carries also. Uh, we lo lost most of our wide receiving crew, so that's still a work in progress. Uh, you know, Andy Ducker's been out there. Jordan Barron's another one that's been out here. Uh, Dylan Bor. Dylan Burkholder, he'll get some touches out there from a tight end slash H-back position. So we got a lot of guys. Harrison Golf's getting some reps out there. So we're still, that's a work in progress out there. As we tape this about a week into the preseason, how's the offensive line looking? Well, you know, while we're pretty happy there with, uh, I think, the initial first group, we're still looking for some kids to step up and give mm -hmm. some depth. But, uh, you know, Easton Roos is a three-year starter. He kind of anchors that up front. Uh, Tyler Shove played quite a few games last year to guard. He's another kid. His motor never stops running. Uh, Cole McKinney filled in nicely. Uh, our starting center missed a couple games last year and filled in nicely, and uh, he's doing a good job for us there. Uh, Troy Corcade, he's getting some reps. John Lorenz and Billy uh, Nichols, they're all getting reps in there. And there's guys, two of those guys have been in our program for, you know, four years. So it's, that stuff's not new to them. So, you know, right there is who we're counting on, but we're looking for some more kids to step up and provide a little depth up front. Let's talk defense. How many guys do you have playing both ways? Are you able to go more of a two platoon now? Well, that's still a work in progress right. where we're at, but we'll probably have a couple guys go both ways. Dylan Burkholder, uh, Chase Clark, Trey Terry, Bo Gross. Those guys will play on both sides of the ball. Uh, we're excited about our front seven on defense. I think that's going to be strength for our football team, and uh, we're looking for those guys to lead us. Uh, Kyle Lehman at nose guards, a three-year, going to be a three-year letterman winner. Tyler Show will play on the D-line. Uh, Burkholder and Chase Clark will both be in our secondary. Uh, Bo Gr Gross is a junior, but he'll be a three-year letterman at linebacker. And Trey Terry's and our kids really had a great offseason uh, in our weight room condition program. We're expecting big things from him. And, and we're really going to lean on that group to, uh, to lead us early. Sounds like you got some good experience coming back on both sides of the ball. Yeah, we're happy there. You, you know, I mean, it's part of football. You're always going to lose some <laughs> guys and stuff. But, yeah, uh, we like what we got coming back. And uh, those kids have worked hard in the offseason to prepare for this season. They've been they've been waiting since, you know, that last game ended uh, to get back at it. So, yeah, we got enough there. We just got to get some other guys going and get some depth. And, uh, you know, you know, injuries are part of the game. And, you know, you know that, those things are going to happen. So we need some guys to really step up if, you know, if, that, can, if, if that happens. How's your coaching staff looking like this year? Hey, all everybody's back. We added a, a new, uh, we had one guy come uh, back. Uh, Dan Baker's going to coach mm -hmm. our linebacker. He's a new addition. But uh, Ryan Ryan Dill still our defensive coordinator. He's been with me all three years. Uh, Matt McKinney's our defensive line coach. He's been here all three years with me. Uh, Paul Butterfield is our wide receiver and passing game coordinator. He's been here all three years. James Fay coaches all line. He O line with me. 
and he's been here all three years. And uh, Todd Fleahart, he works with our quarterbacks and running backs, and he's in his second year. So it, we got good continuity with the coaching staff. You mentioned you began the season last year with the loss to LCC. This year the schedule changes. You get St. John's to open up the year. A Blue Jay team that's cer certainly tradition rich, but coming off of a, of a little bit of a rough season for them. Yeah, you know, we've uh, did 7-on-7 seven seven with those last two years and actually scrimmaged them last year. But, you know, Todd Soldi's done a great job over there. I know his defensive coordinator, they've been together forever, and their staff you know, has been together a long time. And obviously their success is, is you know, as good as anyone else in this area. And uh, they'll be a great challenge in week one, and I know they'll be ready to play football. In week two, you get into the Western Buckeye League with the trip to Otto Glandorf, then home for Salina, back up to Defiance. Then WBL, I think, is looking pretty wide open this year. You know, some of the teams, you know, Kent lost a few people, but, you know, they do a great job over there, and they'll be ready ready to go. Walpock, you know, they, they won the league last year, but, you know, they'll have enough, you know, to keep going. Uh, Ken Schreiner's done a great job at Ottawa, you know, kind of a basketball crazy school, but they, you know, people forgot they've had a pretty good football team right. over there for a long time now. And, you know, they go eight and two last year and didn't make the playoffs. And, and I know they got a lot returning back and what, what a challenge week two for us. You know, they moved up this year with the league rotation. And, uh, you know, we haven't beat Salina for a while. So, you know, we got them, you know, week three. That'll be another challenge. And you're right, well, the league's a little wide open, but every week you got to be ready to play football. Speaking of moving up, start times for the Western Buckeye League, moving up to seven o'clock. Is that going to be an adjustment? Obviously, you just you just change the clock 30 minutes for everything pregame, or is there more to it than that? Well, you know, I was one of those guys in favor of that. You know, that's a half an hour less. Our kids are just sitting around and, and thinking and maybe thinking too much. So, yeah, we'll just bump everything up a half an hour. That would be an easy adjustment. And, you know, when you pay the, play those passing teams that like mm -hmm. to throw the ball, you maybe get home or get out <laughs> a little earlier. You're not here at 11, 11.30. But, no, I don't think that's a big deal. A couple of weeks before the opener with St. John's, what is the, the top two or three things you need to get accomplished before you start the season? Well, you know, obviously we want to be physical on both sides of the ball. So, you know, we want to hit and, uh, you know, we want to block well, you know, you want to tackle well. You know, those, those things are two big things that people, you know, in our league that win. You know, just figure out who we are offensively. You know, we're, we're running a lot of different things out there, and we'll scale that down to, you know, what we think we're good at and just go from there. Uh, you know, defensively, just, you know, run to the football, play with a lot of emotion, a lot of enthusiasm, and, you know, and just be ready to get off the great start. All right, thank you very much. It's been a great start to this war presented by U.S. Plastic Store. I want to thank Bill Garland, our first guest. When we come back, Matt Finkel will join us with more from the back. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store at Bath, and we've got three Wildcats joining me here to talk some football. Tyler Schaub, senior offensive guard D end is right to my right. In the middle is Dylan Burkholder, senior tight end and safety, and on the end it's junior Bo Gross, running back, linebacker. Tyler, is training camp underway? I know you guys wait all summer to take the field. Is there a sense of excitement out here in the first week? Yeah, there's tons of excitement. Um, as a team, we've just been really excited to hit the field and start working, go to work. Dylan, what have you seen in camp so far? Good progress? Yeah, we started out a little slow, but we made great bounds from the first couple of days, and young guys are getting better, and the older guys are showing them how to do it. But what have you seen out of the senior class, and I'm assuming you're leading as well as a junior, to help, uh, help out at camp and set the tone? Yeah, our seniors have done a great job this year. They've been, you know, the first ones in the line. They've been showing us the ropes a little bit, helping the underclassmen get the move. Tyler, coach mentioned that you guys get to hit tomorrow. What are you looking forward to about that practice? Oh, everyone looks forward to the first day of hit day. It's the first day of contact. Get to show the coaches and your teammates what you're made of. So. Dylan, was there an off-season workout program that, that helped you prepare for, for this season? Um, we, uh, our new coach, Coach Baker, really pushed us a lot harder than we were used to, and he he added a lot to us and helped us out with our weight and our conditioning program. But what would you say this year's biggest strength is for Bath headed into the season? Um, I would say our biggest strength right now is we have we're really good in unity right now. We work really well as a team since the past years. You know, it's really been a teamwork this year, and we're all closer. We're a lot closer. Tower, you guys were competitive in a lot of games last year, and four and six is absolutely nothing to hang your head about. But what do you need to do to make that leap to get over 500? And you have just as tough a schedule this year again with nine Western Buckeye League games. Everything we've been working on is working on finishing, finishing through the line, finishing every drill, just because we've been there in all the games. We just need to finish those games so we can come out on top. 
and Dylan competing in the WBO. What do you have to do week in and week out, preparation-wise, and, and then when you take the field? Uh, you just got to bring every week. Like Coach said, there's no easy games. I mean, you overlook someone, and you'll go home with a loss, and we don't want that. And, Bo, what, what's an area you'd like to see improved upon between now and week one? Um, I would probably like to see our offense just pick up the pace and see how well they can do. I'd like to see our defense, you know, just show some things and be able to have faith in them. Well, best of luck this year to you guys. We'll be watching closely as Bath takes the field week one at home against St. John's. We need to take a break here on the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. But don't go anywhere. More Bath Wildcats and maybe a championship belt will join us when the warm-up returns. Third and final down on the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store from Bath. And we've got three seniors joining me. Kyle Lehman, nose guard on my right. Chase Clark in the middle, running back, cornerback, and Easton Rudisil on the end. Offensive tackle, defensive tackle. I guess we got to start with the belt. Explain what it means, Chase, and why do you have it? Uh, well, we have a turnover competition, and I won it today, so I got the belt. And it just so happened that you'd be on TV today. Perfect day to win it. Yeah, I got to show it off. Kyle, on the line this year, what can we expect uh, in the trenches from the Wildcats? Uh, you can to expect us to come off the ball faster than our opponents every time and just hit, be the first one to hit. Easton, I saw you make a face there. Are you promising to come faster off the ball as well? On the yeah. Line? Offense and defensive lines have really been working hard on getting off the ball hard every single time. And uh, that's what Coach Faye and Coach McKinney have really been stressing along with Coach Garland. Is are there a rival? for you in the Western Buckeye League that you look forward to playing year in and year out and knowing that it's your senior year you'd like to take the field against one more time? Uh, there was a couple games last year that we didn't finish and all of those are obviously marked but we have to go one game at a time. Chase what about for you what do you like playing in what do you like about playing in the Western Buckeye League because I know it's a very competitive league. Just because the competition is always good never like you always got to bring your A game or you'll go home with it with a loss. And Kyle, for you, what's what's impressed you so far in camp with uh, the senior class and, and the team in general? Uh, I was working a lot harder than the past years, and it's just all the le all the seniors just really stepping up as leaders this year. Easton, what are some examples of the seniors taking on that leadership role and, and really setting the tone? Everybody is leading the lines, and when they see an underclassman not doing the drill exactly correct, they're uh, helping them. They're not exactly like getting down on them. They're trying to encourage them while they do it, but make sure every uh, part of the technique is correct. Yeah, that positive reinforcement is so important. Chase, we'll finish up with you. What are the goals for this year's team and, and you as a senior? Uh, just to do our best every game and knowing that it's like going to be our last year as seniors, that we're going to leave it all on the field going to make it count. Well, thanks for letting us come out. Good luck this year to you guys. That's going to close out this edition of the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. For our guests, thank you very much here at Bath. And for Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN. <laughs>